The Support for All project is the aim is to design a support bra for women who are undergoing breast radiotherapy. So a, a lot of women who have um, a diagnosis of breast cancer will have a lump removed from the breast and then they have to go on and have radiotherapy afterwards and at the moment they are treated naked from the waist upwards um, and we treat the whole breast area. Um, so what we're trying to do for those women is we're trying to improve the patient experience by um, developing a bra that they can wear during the radiotherapy so that they're covered up, um, improve their modesty, but also improve the accuracy of the radiotherapy treatment that we deliver by enabling us to position the breast in exactly the same way every day during radiotherapy. What makes this bra so unique is that it's designed specifically for radiotherapy purposes. Uh, some centres will use the patient's own bra to try and help um, position the breast, but it's not designed for radiotherapy purposes. This bra has been designed specifically um, so that it doesn't absorb too much of the radiation um, beam and therefore doesn't increase the skin dose uh, very much. And um, very few centres actually will cover their patients during the radiotherapy, um, so this is completely unique. It allows the patient to be um, covered during that part of the treatment. The actual bra garment itself holds the breast in quite a good position anyway. It lifts the breast tissue away from the chest wall. Uh, the good thing about that is that it will hopefully reduce the um, dose to normal tissue that lies underneath the breast, so things like the lung and the heart. So the bra garment itself will lift the breast um, in sort of towards the midline and upwards into a, into a position um, that we can reproduce every day. So the garment itself does that. But in addition to that, we have built into the garment some special air pockets that um, are within the garment itself that are not visible. Um, but through these um, pipes, we can insert some air by inflating the little pockets, we can push the breast tissue further um, into the midline and further upwards again, lifting the breast away from, from the chest wall and away from those sensitive organs. We've got a, an x-ray top couch, um, which is carbon fibre, and we have a breast board, which is also carbon fibre. So this is um, used to immobilise patients when they're having breast cancer treatment in, in clinical practice, or some centres will use a similar device to that. So it keeps their arms up out of the way, uh, gets the sternum nice and flat at an angle so that we can get the, the treatment into um, the area that we need to treat. Um, so what we've done is kind of mimicked that, we tried to mimic that in this lab, um, and then using the 3D MD cameras, which is 3D stereo photogrammetry, we're projecting from five different cameras onto the participant, and then we're able, using the speckled pattern, to build up a 3D image. So I can get a complete 3D image of their, um, of their breasts and so we can overlay those images and we can work out the error um, from taking the bra off, putting it back on and also how it compares to wearing no bra at all. So we're using healthy volunteers who are women who've come and volunteered to come to the study and um, try the bra on for us, lay down in the treatment position um, and then we're taking images with the bra on and without the bra so that we can compare and contrast what the bra is doing and how it's um, accurately reproducing the breast tissue each time.